Have you ever wondered how to keep your kettle health and thriving? Well, today we are diving into the world of NutriCake. I'm Lonis and this is Smart Extension Services. Mr. Samuel Kiriga collaborated with CARO, which is a research institute, and came up with feeding technology of NutriCake. Today he will take us through the ingredient used to make the NutriCake, how to feed the animals and its importance. Stay tuned to the end so that you learn more about the NutriCake. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly consider subscribing. research ambayo imefanywa na Calro ambayo hiyo research niliona ni research nzuri sana na haifai kuwekwa kwa mafaili bila kufikia mkulima uh, na nilipowafuata wakanifanyishia training na wakaniambia kwamba mimi nitakuwa na nafasi ya kufanya commercialization of the product so at the moment wameshanipatia certificate na wameniruhusu niweze nikafanya commercialization Uh, nimeendelea mpaka nimefikia mpaka kwa Kebs ambako Kebs nime, nimebaki tu mahali kidogo ili nipate ile watermark but otherwise the product eh, imeshakuwa certified kwa sawa sawa the product walipofanisha training eh, ina involve kuwa na, na, na ingredients kama uh, molasses wheat bran urea uh, common salt premix na binder uh, those percentages uh, ziko different lakini kishachanganywa ndio inaifanya iweze ikapita kwa kebs otherwise ukichanganya vizuri haitapita kwa kebs uh, na hiyo ndio uh, nikaona kwamba ni vizuri uh, niweze nikafikisha kwa mkulima na so far nimejaribu ku promote for the last three years the product actually enhances uh, the ingredient the, uh, the nutrients in a forage ziweze zikawa extracted properly na ziweze zikaingia kwa mnyama without much wastage because we normally waste a lot of uh, nutrients kupitia kwa dung tunarudisha ngombe alafu kesha tena tunafagia mavi mengi tunaenda kwa kutupa ile chakula tulikuwa tumetafuta jana sana na ikaenda kwamba eh, inakuwa mbolea na sana sana huwa hatufugi kwa sababu ya mbolea huwa tunafuga kwa sababu ya production tuweze kupata maziwa tuweze kupata nyama so ukisupplement uh, ruminants all of them kama ngombe una supplement 400 grams a day after feeding to uh, the required amount of weight depending on the animal's weight ukishafanya vile unakuta kwamba ukisupplement ile chakula itasagwa vizuri na ikisagwa vizuri vile nutrients zote zinaingia kwa mwili wa mnyama na the remaining uh, microbials huwa zinaingia kwa uh, kwa ngombe kama uh, proteins na hiyo inafanya kwamba mnyama anakuwa na afya nzuri anaongeza maziwa by 33% anakuwa hawezi uh, kushikwa na magonjwa kirahisi kwa sababu atakuwa na kinga na afya yake ile iko nzuri na unakuta kwamba wakati mwingi huwa wakati tunataka production tunatuangalia eh, mahesabu ya kwamba tunaingia hasara ama tunapata faida lakini with this product unakuta kwamba unaingiza faida throughout kwa sababu itakuwa kwamba hakuna nyasi unayopoteza na mnyama pia afya yake hakuna wakati inaathirika na hiyo ndio inafanya kwamba hii research nikaiona ni ya muhimu na nikaona ni fikisho kwa ukulima na sofa ukulima wameipendelea ama wameipenda na tunakuta kwamba wale ambao wameadapt wameweza kuongeza production zao na hata wao wenyewe wana realize faida ya ya, ya hii nyuti nyuti kikuwa inatengenezwa kutumia molasses wheat bran eh, natural binder common salt 
na maji kidogo especially ya kutiti kama mola ni urea so you mix the ingredients according to their percentage and uh, after mixing pro properly you put into a pressing machine una press alafu inatoka size the idea of pressing nukifanya at least iweze kuwa compact kama hii sasa ni kilo mbili unusu had it not been pressed ingekuwa volume kubwa kwa hivyo hiyo ndio inasaidia na baada ya kupress uh, unaiwacha uh, in the sun for about two hours baada ya masaa mawili unaiweka uh, in, uh, in a shed for two days ili iweze ikakiwa properly na ikue kwamba haitakuwa na aflatoxin ambayo inaweza ikaingia and from there you do the packing na ku label alafu una inakuwa iko tayari kwenda kwa mkulima hii ni premix hii ni common salt binder hii ni urea na hii ni wood bran mix ni, ni virutubisho vile ambavyo vidogo vidogo vile vinahitajika viko katika hii premix kwa common salt ni mineral leak ambayo huwa inasaidia sana zile ile keki iweze ikawa na virutubisho vya kutosha binder ni ya kufanya hii keki iweze ika, ikashikana urea is actually the main ingredient because of the crude protein crude protein iko kwa, kwa urea na wheat bran ndio carrier ya kubeba uh, hizi ingredients zote hii ikiwa tu and half kg ni shilingi 300 uh, ambako kwa ngombe inamaanisha kwamba uh, you supplementing your animal with about 50 shillings na kwa mbuzi ni 20 grams for a camel is 50 uh, 500 grams na kwa ndama ni 70 grams na hizi hizi vipimo lazima uzifuatilie usije ukapoteza kwa sababu uh, as you know urea is toxic kwa hivyo hataki kuweke kwa wingi usije kadharao hizo vipimo na hiyo bei ya Uh, 300 shillings ni nikuonyesha kwamba per day uta supplement kama na 50 shillings ambayo eh, maziwa akiongezeka na na, na 2 liters ama 3 liters kulingana na ngombe wako vile anavyotoa utaweza kuwa unanunua una, una save pesa ya kununua keki na utakuwa na pesa ya kufanya mambo yako mengine na hiyo liters zingine ambazo